The fabled world of shiny fossil Pokemon. Aerodactyl gets a pink body and blue wings. These livelier colors are really nice. Shieldon and Basiodon's grays become navy. Shade of blue, big head. Come on, we were this close to Megamind. Kabuto and Kabutops both get really bright greens. And Arcan ended up doing the same thing. I guess Gen 5 was a Gen 1 reboot after all. Well, Arceops does kind of just look like it has a filter over it. The slightly warmer body and teal wings are gorgeous. Tyrant's softer blue is really cool. But Tyrantrum's deep yet still vibrant shade of blue is a very rare color in shiny Pokemon. I don't know why that could be the case because it's awesome. Okay, show of hands, who remembers Tortuga? That's what I thought. It is a really nice shiny though, but Caracosta, I think someone adjusted my screen brightness. Mora and Aurora's and snowy white bodies are great. Gen 6 was really at the top of its game, wasn't it? Lilip gets Cradle's colors, but it gets a weird pink. I have two of these. Omnite and Omastar get a vibrant pink, and even their shells change ever so slightly. Anorant's beige is cool, makes it look a lot more like a fossil. Our mold is great when you ignore what they took from us. The skull fossils look sick, and these guys are living in eternal torment, but eh, they look cool, so it's fine. 